Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and today we're going to have a look at the head section only on the Skywatcher AZ3 mount and um, have a quick look at a couple of issues that you may find straight out of the box these are, are not faults as such, they just need some, uh, some minor adjustments to suit your own preferences and the telescope used which may be a heavyweight one or a lightweight one so firstly the altitude or the up and down movement for the slow motion control, this one quite stiff and you might find that straight out of the box and so it's very easy fix to slacken this off excuse me on the top you'll find a little allen bolt there and all you do is put your allen key inside a few turns to the left slacken it off hey presto that moves very very freely you may want it like this or you may want it a little bit more stiff it just depends on your own preferences I've mentioned the size of the telescope so so you are compromising the adjustment between stability and ease of movement to your, and to your own preferences and you'll, you'll see it sliding across left and right there as you adjust so before each observing session make sure you have that in the center so yeah you, you have plenty of movement for your fine-tune adjustment a couple of adjustments while we've got the head out if you're moving the scope manually without the slow motion controls also for the altitude you can slacken off this bolt here to make it a bit more easy moving up and down if you want to find things in a hurry for example you, you may not be using it for astronomy you may be using it for maybe plane spotting looking at ships out at sea wildlife and you want that fast movement and also on the underside for the azimuth or left right movement you have a little bolt on under there that you can slacken off a little bit and as I've done with this one that moves it very very easily and from left to right or the azimuth but as mentioned before it's finding that compromise between stability and how freely you want the mount to be used so so I hope that helps, that's just um, a few adjustments easy to do on the Skywatcher AZ3 mount head section only. So as always, thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below.